last workbench I made was my central workbench, which was actually a workbench top based on a Felde 300 S frame. And I not only like the looks of it, but it's also so convenient to have a height adjustable workbench. So when I got the idea of making a new editing desk myself, one thing became sure. I wanted it height adjustable. So the plan was to buy a table with a solid frame of four legs and make a new desktop myself. And after searching for a good quality base that fit my needs, I came across a FlexiSpot and I ordered the E7 Cube that could lift 200 kg. But not only that, it had a solid 10 year warranty on all the components. And when it arrived, I was pleased with the quality and weight of the construction. Everything is very heavy and almost overbuilt. And with the four big legs, it came pretty close to what I had in mind to fit my desktop. And I had a pretty good idea about how my new editing desk would look. But I wanted first some experience with the original desktop to see if everything would work as I had in mind. And the FlexiSpot E7Q by itself looked very lovely and it was a pleasure to work with. So after some experience and some changes to my plan, I was ready to make my desktop. Many viewers ask for project videos, but I only upload them sometimes. And the reason is that when it comes to furniture, my taste is very basic. So my designs are also basic and relatively simple to build. And so many channels cover this so well and at such a high level, so I do not feel I add something to that. But some viewers are also curious about how I handle a project in my workshop. So this can be a nice angle to make this video. And in my video about shop organization, I said workshop efficiency is overrated. Because you do the different stages in woodworking one step at a time, it's better to focus on where you place your wood at every step and how you can organize your machines so you have minimum setup time. My goal in this workshop was to handle two and a half a meter long work pieces without moving my machines. And these oak planks are about this length. With a slider, it is easy to cut the sides clean instead of doing this with a jointed table. After selecting the oak pieces I wanted to use for my desktop, I decided to use some dominoes to line up all the different parts. And I drew some lines as a guide to place my dominoes. When you do this YouTube thing sort of as a living, you are very happy when a company is willing to support you by sponsoring a video. And when I got my desk, I was very pleased with the quality. The quality is so high that there is no problem at all to recommend this to you. 
and FlexiSpot is leading the kinetic furniture movement across the world. And like I said, the quality was very high, and one of the reasons I ended up on their side was because of the wide program. I was specifically looking for a sitting and a standing desk with four legs. When editing a video, I make long hours sitting behind my desk, so being able to switch between a sitting and a standing position is very welcome and relaxed. And installing the frame is very straightforward. There is a good manual, all the screws are numbered, and the different cables are color coded so not much can go wrong. And I had this desk in its original configuration for about three weeks before I could add my self made desktop. And I have to say that I was delighted with how it looked in my room. So when you are in the market for a kinetic desk, I think it's well worth to take a look at the site. When the top and the bottom of my new desktop were glued together, I cut them at the final dimensions after each other so that I could use the same settings. I had to make some holes in the crossbars for cable management. And here I made a 41mm hole with a Forstner bit. And it is a shame my hand is before the action. But you can see my dust extraction system takes care of 98% of the wood chips. And I'm still thrilled with my drill press station and my dust extraction system. I wanted to hide my computer inside the desktop. But my computer is higher than my desktop. So I have to make a hole to fit it and to ensure good ventilation. With my laser I made a template to cut the final holes with my router.
and I temporarily place two pieces of wood with a 45 degree bevel to create pressure while gluing the sides. 